All right, today we're going to do a question called reorganize string. Given a string S, check if the letters can be rearranged so that the characters that are adjacent to other are not the same. If possible, output any possible result. Okay, so how would I think about this question? Let's look at the first sample. A, A, B. Can I do this? I can make it an A, B, A. True. Right, if I've got triple A, B, no matter what arrangement I try, it's not going to work, right? It's always going to be like that. So if you observe very clear, carefully, we see that A, the occurrences of A has to be greater than, occurrences of the most frequent has to be greater than half the length of the string, right? If you observe very clearly, right? Now, let's take another example. Like, let's say I have a string where there are three occurrences of A, two occurrences of B, and one occurrence of C. If I had to place this in such a way that no two characters appear next to each other, right? So, one, two, three, four, five, right? So there are six total, and this is so. I want, I would still first start with placing all the A's, and done. Now, then I would start with placing the B's in the odd positions. So first start with all the even positions, then the odd positions. That way we make sure that there is no two characters that are adjacent to each other. Now while placing, you can obviously know that, you know, if there are any two characters that occur next to each other, then obviously it's going to be like, you know, it's greater than the uh, sum of it's, it's, it's going to be next to each other, right? There are two characters which are going to be next to each other. Right, now let's see how the code example works. Okay, so, okay, this is not gonna work like this. Let's try to push it into Eclipse. Right, uh, I'm getting my code might be a little substandard to a lot of people, but just a beginner in all of these things, so. All right, let's try this. Okay, so I've got this. Um, okay, we're gonna do it here itself. So one of the, the first thing I would do is obviously count all the character counts, right? Check what are the counts of all the characters in uh, all the characters in the particular string, right? So how I would do that is I would take a okay, first, I would take a, uh, a map, of the count occurrences and the character and would push them to the uh, map right so this is actually counting the characters right so I've counted all the characters I'm um, then I usually use a priority queue when I want to sort in anything uh, in reverse order by the value because key maps are usually sorted by the key and not the value so i use a priority queue to do that kind of a sorting so it's available in the java util class so if you look at priority queue and uh, of an entry an entry is uh, any entry in a map is it re uh, is represented by java.util.map.entry right so if i take this priority queue and i would say you know and this is the comparator that you insert into it it says that you know whatever it is try to order the previous one uh, try to order the larger value first now obviously this logic seems like it can be improved a lot but this is the first logic that i wrote it was a time constraint question that i was trying to do so obviously i take the largest of the entry care largest of the thing uh, largest occurring character the would be at the head of the queue Right, so I do Q dot pull. So obviously we get the count of it and then we do I plus equal to. So if you see what I was doing here when we were placing those things, if I've got, um, you know, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Yeah, if I've got a string like A3, B2, C1, right? So wh what's gonna happen here is it's gonna pull out a, this is how the map is going to look and my priority queue is also going 
gonna be the Q is gonna be like this right it's gonna hold the entry a comma 3 B comma 2 C comma 1 it's gonna give me in this order okay now how do we know where the failure case comes right so I take the head of the Q and I start inserting here right and that's what I am doing here so if I take the head of the Q and I start inserting here after the end of the insertions I'm gonna let you keep reducing the if to count if the, I'm still left with any characters that means yeah obviously there is one sort of a string one sort of a character which occurs more than uh, half the length of the string right I'm placing it why I would do this is because this adds some sort of efficiency because before I am finishing off with the uh, finishing off with the string uh, before I process the whole string and try to place it I know okay this is the only case where it's gonna be more than uh, half the it's gonna be, have two adjacent characters we still need to form the string the reason why I have carry character and carry is because let's say I take the second string and I still have uh, let's say this was a3 uh, b3 a3 b3 b3 right uh, a4 let's let's try to take a different example maybe that would be more example. a4 b4 and c2 right can this be done with two adjacent characters 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 right. now I've placed a a a and a right now I've gotten to I have to place right so this is what it is then I have B left right I'm gonna start placing B here the reason why here where if the count is equal to zero and I is still less than uh, the you know I is still less than still not completed going towards the end of the even spaces right that's gonna be one of that's my solution is what's going on so I take the top of that and that would still carry over and I need to place them in the odd spaces right I've placed this here now the rest of the four B's would have to start getting placed here correct that's why I added a logic to add the carry character and the carry count then obviously start placing uh, everything on the odd odd spaces still keeping uh, you know finish off with all the things and finish it in the odd spaces then fill everything in the odd spaces and in the end return the new string so that's how the solution would end up coming so this is a solution where you know uh, there are no two adjacent characters uh, there is one efficiency that you can add here is just here itself you can do entry dot get value if count is greater than you know string string s dot length divided by two then you should just return a empty array before going into the looping part so this would be another way to do it right we're gonna add this efficiency into it all right thanks for watching